I just wanted to show you a few leaves from my mulberries that I have not cut. So see that leaf and how ratty looking it looks. And then the new leaves where I've pruned them. So pretty. This is normal for this time of year. And then here on this one, same thing. This is what all the leaves would look like if I hadn't cut it back. And then the pretty leaves of the new growth. And then this is the world's best. And lots of berries from being pruned. A lot of berries coming on. But again, these pretty leaves versus, let's see, where is, oh, look at this. Nice berries on it. Um, hmm. I thought I saw some leaves that I didn't cut back. There's one. There we go. So that's totally normal for mulberries this time of year. If you haven't cut them back, it's completely normal. Nothing's wrong with them. It's just that's what the leaves look like this time of year. Tattered and ratty looking is what I call them. There's one right here. That is completely normal and for them to be spotted, um, I don't, it's from a lot of water probably. Uh, these don't really get a lot of spot, but some of them, if they have a lot of spots on them, again, to me, that's normal for mulberries if you haven't pruned them. And then if you do prune them, they'll have the pretty leaves again. And then a lot of them will actually fruit again too, especially your everbearing. When you cut them, they'll fruit. All right, have a great day. Plant lots of fruit trees. Central Florida Zone 9B.